Determine the perimeter of the shape below in inches. Now, if this picture was actually to scale, and if we actually had a real ruler with inches, it would be pretty trivial. You're just going to measure this length here and here and just add up the results. However, we'll just try it in a more tricky way. Assume that we don't actually have this diagram to scale. So let's uh, practice using this theoretical ruler. So say this diagram was not the scale and we so simply have uh, the representation of what it actually is. It's like a little map. This could be kilometers or whatever, but in this case it's, it's inches. Let's just practice using this technique. So what we'd do is we'd actually use a real ruler and here's my beautiful ruler. I'm gonna move it over and just try to figure out what my scale is. And according to my scale, what I have here is I have approximately one and three eighth inches is the same as this to this ratio here, which is five and five point five point two five approximately five point two five millimeters, so this is just a ratio, is equals to, and what I'm interested in is the actual, uh, the actual length here. So if I were to measure this length here, which is approximately 6.7-ish, so here we have the length of 6.7 millimeters and we're trying to solve for x inches so we have x in terms of inches so let's uh, work this out here we can rewrite this 3 8 as a fraction so we have 3 divided by 8 is equals to 0.375 so I'm just going to rewrite this as 1.375 inches. And then we can solve for x inches over here. So using cross multiplication and some simplification, we get x is equals to 1.75 inches approximately. And I'm just going to rewrite this as 1.375 inches here. This is the same as 1 and 3 8 inch inches. And we continue with the same technique measuring this side over here. So our previous uh, ratio was 1.375 inches measured with 5 measured at 5.25 millimeters is equals to, and then here we're measuring approximately 7.1 millimeters. And uh, we're trying to solve for, we'll just call this y. So this length here is y. And we can solve how many inches y is. So using some cross mul multiplication and some using our calculator, we can get y is approximately equals to 1.86 inches. So we add up all these inches. So we finally add up all our four lengths, 1.375 plus 1.86 plus 0 0.5 plus 1.75 inches. And our total perimeter is approximately 5.5 five inches. That's what we have, 5.485, which is approximately five and a half. And the only answer pretty close to that is choice B. So B is our final answer.